Hi, Rob Wilson, the business man here. I wanted to go over um, the component parts of Optimize Press uh, 2 and really kind of help demystify some of the issues over whether you use the plugin, whether you use the theme, um, the confusion over normal um, pages in WordPress and Optimize Press pages, um, and try and give you a sense of um, how it all fits together. So, first, I'm just going to take you through. Uh, this site, OP2 Member Master, uh, which is set up with a theme, um, the, op the Optimized Press theme. Just to go over it again, in terms of before Optimized Press came around, there were themes uh, which can, uh, which really were all about uh, setting up the look and feel of the site and allowing you to change things globally. So if you set up a blog, you obviously wanted everything to have the same set of styles. And when you created a new page, you didn't really want to have to think about individual styles. But that caused a problem when you wanted to create a sales page or a marketing page of some kind because you didn't want the blog styling. You wanted to do something very, very different. Uh, and that's really where Optimize Press and some of the other page builders stepped in. And a lot of them do it using a plugin. So the plugin drops into Optimize Press and it takes over control uh, from the theme. So it's all that global stuff for the theme disappears so that the plugin can take control and it can then make it look any way it likes. The confusion really with Optimize Press is um, the new version comes in two flavors, the plugin and the theme. And the theme version basically is exactly the same as the plugin, apart from it adds more traditional WordPress theming abilities. In my opinion, it's not as flexible as a normal theme, um, but it does give you th that kind of uh, global feel. But you still have the ability to create what I would call real optimized press pages, which completely ignore all the all the um, the global theming because again they're meant to be standalone pages with their own design. So it all gets very confusing in that you've effectively got WordPress pages and optimized press pages, and I'll show you where those kind of fit in. But if you get that whole concept of the theme in WordPress, it's about the global side, the global look and feel, and creating things that have a consistent feel. Uh, whereas optimized press pages themselves, proper optimized press pages that use the live editor, um, are meant to be unique. So let's have a look at, look at this. So I set up my optimized press um, membership site uh, using proper optimized press pages. They use the live editor. Um, this has a downside in that. Um, basically, if you want to change something because they're unique, if you want to change something globally, you have to go through every single page and make that change. The reason I I do it is because I like the look and feel of the pages created as proper optimized press pages using the live editor over the pages that are created. Um, if you create a normal page within the theme and use some of the elements of optimized press too. That's probably thoroughly confused you, but if you look at these pages, these are real Optimize Press pages. If I go and uh, go into the live editor, you'll see that it looks just like um, it gives you all the features, all the elements, and uh, power of Optimize Press, uh, the Optimize Press page builder. So that's what I would call a real Optimize Press page. You can add elements, you can take away elements, you've got control of the layout. You can put things in columns, you can add in rows, etc, etc. Now, where it becomes confusing is because you can also, within the theme, remember I'm running the theme on this one, create a WordPress page and then use some of the optimized press elements. So let's create this one. We'll call it WordPress page. And we can put some text in. Um, so we can type away. And you can also add in optimized press elements. So it's very similar to using the live editor. Apart from you can you can just insert individual elements. You can't start playing around with uh, rows and columns and different dividers. And the things show up as uh, short codes. And they don't show up as um, graphical elements like it did in the the more WYSIWYG, WYSIWYG editor style of the live editor. So if you're doing this kind of thing and that's all you're seeing um, and you're not seeing the live editor itself, 
and the ability to add rows and columns, um, then you're really editing normal pages. So you can see again that's so that looks very much like the early version of um, Optimized Press One. It's very much like kind of short codey kind of based kind of thing. So if we have a look at this page now, you'll see that this is a a page, and this takes all the global settings uh, from the Optimized Press theme. So you can see this is the theme, and for me it just doesn't have as n as nice a feel, and I lose the control that I would otherwise have. If we go back again to that previous page where we were using the li the proper live editor, get there in a minute. We edit this one. You'll see I've got a lot more control over deciding at any point I want to break it out into different columns. So you can see I've, I've got a lot more control over the individual page layout by adding in rows with different sizes and so on. So that's the difference in that an optimized press page is really going to give you a lot more control, but it is it is unique. Um, so you have to do some things like re really work out what your design looks like um, before you get started and going too far. And then what I then do is I then use the clone feature uh, to clone the pages so that they then have the same look and feel. But if you then make if you've made a mistake and you decide you want to change some of the layout and some of the design, um, then you have to do something uh, very very different. So that's there you've seen um, optimized press pages and normal pages. Now let's have a look at um, the other thing you can do. If you look at, for example, on the businessman site, I've actually I'm using a, um, a Genesis theme uh, to give me my look and feel because I decided I preferred the feel and the flexibility of the Genesis theme. But I then have the Optimized Press plugin um, installed so that I can then go in and create new pages. Um, so let's just go into a page that's created with Optimized Press. So I can go in, um, so I can do all the blogging uh, things that I want to do using the nice theme from Genesis. But then when I want to create Optimized Press pages, again, I've got the ability to you know, create optimized press pages where I've got that proper live editor again. So hopefully that's that's helped out quite a bit. That you you can see that the theme effectively gives you the ability to create WordPress pages with a global feel, where you can change the the settings. Uh, if we go to the dashboard here, I'll show you the global settings that you can change. So the theme will gives you that if you add a new a new page and don't see the live editor, you're effectively using the global settings, which then appear underneath blog settings. And it means that if you change the, the global settings here under theme and um, under branding and the layout and structure and change the colors, that will change across every single page. If you create a um, an optimized press page proper using the live editor, that's completely self-contained. So any changes you make uh, to the layout here on this global settings won't affect it at all. So hopefully that's given you a, a good uh, a good bit of guidance on on the uh, on the difference between the two. Hope you found that useful. Cheers. Uh, I'm Rob Wilson from the Biz Sysman. Cheers.